Up away. As the levels progress, he's really going to have to be careful. But at bottom lane, we do have Kuro who's going to be body blocked up oh, by Misery. Puppy's going to join him. They still have the net ready to go. He's holding off on it. Now controls Kuro. And this could very well be our first blood as Misery stays ahead and snags that last hit for a first blood. Kuro's got to be careful. Walking up that hill, the Enchantress had the perfect creep for him ready. Even Weeha coming over to participate, but he is still uh, right-clicking powerhouse. They're actually going to go up to the top lane, it seems, and try and get a gank on Mind Control. They're going to force out the time walk. Eternal Envy is setting up this gank. Now if Mind Control comes forward, he won't have that time walk up. And sure enough, Highlight Eye leads with the Hex. He's going to be able to jump onto him and control Mind Control long enough for the kill to go to Eternal Envy. Really well set up by Team Secret. I thought for a second that Eternal Envy had jumped the gun, but... Leading with the pelts makes it so that Mind Control thinks, oh, there's nobody else here, he's just doing this. Oh, man, Misery just runs down that Phoenix. Ow, did he Level do that three. by himself? He's got the upgraded boots, and uh, unfortunately, the Phoenix is just a little bit too late with Radiant's that Icarus time. They think it's actually going to be bottom, but this mid-rotation... That's going to kind of catch Liquid by surprise. Kuro's definitely going to be going down here. The TP is not going to be complete by Matumba Man. That was a heavy rotation by Team Secret. Only. But Tumba Man is a bit isolated, but uh, he's going to join the rest of his team now. Eternal Envy is just Lemmy. cutting off the spot. Yeah, he's going to make sure. Now he sees Matumba Man cutting over. He knows this is not a fight that Team Secret necessarily want to be able to take. The heals go down. Misery is here. They can actually fight this one for the Kronos here. Comes in first. They need to be able to pop it. Oh, he's got the Ravage. There goes the Egg. They're going to try and pop this one. Team Secret can't fight around that Ravage as the Egg was the securing fight. Oh, are they not going to get anything? They're really not, unless, oh, Jerry just gets a bit too close, and Pile I Die pounces on that opening. Liquid did not coordinate that fight nearly well enough. They had the Reaper Scythe available, plus the Death Pulse. You didn't have the level 6 on the Witch Doctor, but Liquid have to coordinate that a lot better, as Mind Control found a perfect setup opportunity, but the Egg wasn't quite close enough. And that could have been the opening that they needed, but... Four man smoke, Witch Doctor's making his way up. Mind Control is actually in a perfect position to be able to get a Chronosphere. He's gonna lock it down, but it only catches Misery! The egg goes down on top of there, gonna try and blow Misery before he gets off the Ravage, but he pops the mech, turns around with the Ravage, and now here comes the full artillery from Tina Shaker's arms are blown up too. Take out the Tidehunter, but that means nothing, as Team Secret will sacrifice Misery as long as they can win this fight. Eternal Heavy moves forward, pops the open, starts going from a top of barely lives through all this, but he should be able to get the kill in the end. Dominating oh, Misery and Mind control, 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 he's almost out of mana. Time walks his side. Puppy's still going to be able to get that vision, though, and Mind Control has little hope to be able to get out of this one. Is they're going to hold on to the pounce until Mind Control uses oh, Time him. Walks. Walk him. That's a why Team Secret win the Roshan fight. Absolutely dominant. Liquid had to contest that. That looked like a good opportunity, but he barely whiffs on the Lion. Team Secret. This is the dream start for them. Liquid walk in as five, get absolutely wiped. This is going to be a free Roshan for them as well. Weeha, who was already really farmed, is going to pick up the Aegis for himself. Eternal Envy already up to 3,200 gold. And this is able to get a little bit of magic wand charge to time walk himself away. Kuro runs himself into the trees, is hoping to be able to get a TP out at this point. And he will be, be able to do so. Oh no, the heck! Twilight die on point at the last half second. Nothing is going right for Team Liquid at this point. My control can't even farm. Even with three heroes there, oh, he's going to run into misery. The time walks up in one more second. He's going to jump over to the left-hand side, but then Pettis shot follows him. They're going to be able to get enough vision for Puppy to get one more shot, and that's going to be a killing spree already on Puppy. 18 minutes in. An unbelievable start for Team Secret. Team Secret, though. I really like this. They showed Pi at bottom, so at top, Liquid, they're not 100% sure where everybody is, and they're being hemmed into their base. They don't have the tier 2 at top. The Ward sees them. They're actually going to try and fight this one, but OD, he's already managed to get off the imprisonment onto himself. Team Liquid managed to fight it out, but coming in from behind, they've already taken out the Invoker. They're going to pop the Supernova as well as the Chronosphere, but they just simply have no damage now. Here comes the Death Ward, and they'll finally be able to kill Weeha, but Team Liquid need to be able to get out. A secret are coming in from behind. They've already taken out two. They're going to try and chase down Mind Control as well, while Jarek's quick to get out of the trees he's sitting in. Yeah, Misery didn't have the Ravage available, but he does have the Blink, and Jarex doesn't have the... Puppy's gonna... 15 seconds, trying to slow down the attack speed of Puppy. He needs 12 more seconds. They don't actually care about the Phoenix, it seems. They wanted to be able to chase down 
Matumba man, but he's already TP'd out. You saw Misery thinking about it too. Mm -hmm. He was like, do I pop the Ravage for this? You can see Team Secret are already splitting themselves up, making sure there's not going to be a three-man Chronosphere if possible. Yeah, Liquid want to get something out of this. Ooh, Puffy's going to be the control. target. He just goes for the solo Chronosphere. This is so dangerous. They have a Sunray. They're going to follow up with the cast. Maybe even drop the Death Ward for this one. Puppy is going to be saved by Weeha. But he's going to be running back in. Oh, there goes the combination for Misery and Weeha. They're all up Liquid left and right. Three down and Kuro. He realized there's no escape here. Mind Control also trying to time walk himself. Hiding in the trees. Ooh, two more seconds. He's going to be saved by the imprisonment for now. But they should be able to run him down no matter what. The pounce is going to miss. But still, they've got him with the Blink Dagger on Weeha. Kuro's not going to stay ahead of Misery either. This is eventually going to be a wipe as Team Secret are now well positioned to push out that bottom lane and think about pressuring high ground. Secret have absolute control of this game right now. This four position Puppy Enchantress, it's not the hero that you want to go for. 1300 HP has the heal. They've got multiple ways to save her with both the mech, the pipe, and the astral imprisonment. I mean, nobody from Secret is a free target at this point. Absolutely not. Our tier 2 is going to fall and they're going to continue going high ground. I like this choice from uh, Jerix. Normally we see the Ether Lens, but the, the choice of the Veil of Discord is a nice addition to all these Intel cores. So this mid tower looks like it is going to fall. Liquid don't have the Chronosphere available. And I don't really even know how they set up a fight right now. With the Aegis still on Envy for another 2 minutes, they've got to be careful. This guy hits hard. He's got 3,200 gold to back him up. Paralyzing cast. They're actually going to try and go for Puppy here. Sunstrike is going to land. Nice setup there from Vada. And Team Secret will actually back themselves up. They don't have the Ravage. They still have that Aegis if they wanted to be able to fight. They could do it. Yeah, Eternal Envy's not going to show too much fear. He turns around. Dares Mind Control to fight him. He's got to be careful. It's by far the easiest hero to kill for Eternal Envy. He's going to get stunned up by the cast, but he sees Kuro. Maybe he wants to make himself a target since he already blew that Death Ward. Eternal Envy is going to oblige. They're going to be able to double-team Kuro as fast as possible. The Malogic goes down. It's last dying. Ward Mean on the right-hand side. They're going to try and blow up Weehan. They're successful, too. They've got the Reaper side. Oh, the Phoenix the Egg is going to be able to explode as well. Team Secret are going to be caught here. They thought they could turn. They thought that they could fight, but they're going to lose some major heroes here as Misery is just eventually going to be chased down. He's a tanky beast, but there's just no escape for him. Oh, with the Sunway drop, too. Four heroes down in Team Liquid. That is the first glimmer of light that we've seen all game for them. Yeah, didn't really think that was going to be possible, especially with how big Eternal Envy is, but Envy decides this is not the fight that we can take anymore, even with the Aegis. He's going to immediately get it, get out of there. He wants to make absolute sure that if his team gets wiped like that, he's not going to go down with them. I really like the way that Kuro positioned himself forward. I think Team Liquid knew that they just had to take a fight. Otherwise... They're trying to chip down this tier 2 tower. Misery's ready to go. He's going to wait. Waiting on the Ravage. He's going to throw it out now. We'll be able to catch up four. That's going to be a beautiful figure. That to pop to the top of man as well. Now they've got the... Uh, oh, no. That's going to be an A combination with the Chronosphere. That only really catches two. Kurt's going to lay down the Death Ward. But there's just not enough damage here. OD drop. But his teammates are all gone. Mind Control's going to try and get himself out with the Time Walk TP away. Should be successful there. As, oh, Pilot Eye. Oh, so close. Puppy absolutely obliterated that BKB invoker. He just came from behind, prances and says, one hit, two hits, three hit, you're dead. So between the combination of nukes, control, and just straight pure damage, both the intelligence cores of Team Liquid just evaporate, and now Team Secret ready to force some buybacks. Yeah, that was the worst possible fight for Liquid. This is not a fight that they can take anymore, especially without the Phoenix deck available. Eternal Envy still has some of the stacks left over from that top fight, making quick work the racks. His attack speed is truly out of control at this point. 9 to 28, 36 minutes in, our first lane of racks is going to go down for Team Liquid. It's a, almost a 20,000 net worth lead. Yeah, and you've got a hex now completed on the OD. The BKB from the Invoker isn't enough of a defensive item anymore either, as Puppy just cut through him like butter. Yeah, if it wasn't clear from that top fight, now with the Scythe of Ice, it means initiation has to go the way of Team Liquid. They don't have a prayer in being able to win a fight unless they're the ones starting it. Yeah, it's probably going to be the next Roshan fight that they take, but they're going to need the best setup possible. The Phoenix Egg is a buyback, so they should have a free lane of racks. The question is, is Team Secret actually going to stick around? They don't have their Ravage. 
but they have a huge net worth lead that may be enough confidence for them to be able to take this fight. Mind control, time walks to the side. He's going to be able to get the Kronos here this time around. On Eternal Heavy, the Death Warrior gets laid out, but they definitely need the Reaper Sight. But Eternal Heavy still has that agent, so it doesn't even matter. Eternal Heavy now pops the ultimate, turns on a Kronos, starts dealing all those num num stats. He's going to be able to just go through support after support. He's dealing once. But Tumba Man, back in. But the imprisonment is going to stall things up. The tornado controlling some of the heroes in the background. Puppy with that long range artillery is actually keeping Liquid from being able to be aggressive. They're going to start jumping forward, but Misery, Misery, jumps right back in with the counter initiation of the Anchor Smash. He's going to be able to stop all the damage. The Reaper Sight goes out. They will be able to kill Weeha, but still they have to worry about the Slark because life number two is back up. And Eternal Levy still feeling pretty healthy. He's finding this one out. He actually wants to be able to get out here as the Pounce was blocked up. But Top of Man comes forward. Looks like the Sunray is going to be able to take out Pai Wai Dai. They Eternal really Levy needs to kill get into the trees. Hides himself for a second, but Mata, he's a blood hell locking down Eternal Levy. They will be able to find him. Team Liquid, they win a fight, but is it too late? They lost so much out of that double set of racks, but... A 10k gold swing from that fight. They had to use the buyback though on Matama Man. And even with its 10k gold swing, it barely brings it up, Cap. The base with this one. They might even get the high ground advantage. Vada. Uh-oh, he tossed this one out. He's going to immediately pop in DKB. Now the Chrono Gear turn around, but they need to follow up. They have the main ball. That's a spicy one. They've got the Sun Strike on Misery. They're trying to pop up the Reaper Scythe. No, it's not going to finish him off. Oh, this egg explodes, but Team Seeker, they're still looking healthy. And now the turnaround comes in. Grab is laid down. They're able to take out already two. And Liquid, they just fall apart after that. They have no buybacks. That was the best possible chronosphere they could have had but it just goes to show the team secret are just too big to fight up against they're going to be able to get fought here after the imprisonment there's no way the sunray can save them and team secret will beat down the buildings in preparation of taking game number one yeah liquid are going to pop everything that they possibly can but from the leading phase on this game has been all team secret especially with that roche fight Perfect play by Secret. Such a superior game by them. They have played Liquid every step of the way. Vada starts dropping meatballs, but he's got nothing. He turns around, goes on a misery, but he's already dying to Puppy alone. The fourth position is destroying Vada's invoker, who's had the highest net worth of Team Liquid for so long. Misery finally goes down, but the throne explodes, and Team Secret take game one in this grand finals. What a dominant showing for them, too. We said that Liquid and Secret both got the type of lineups that they wanted. Secret end up on top. Psychologically alone, that's going to afford them so many advantages going in. Absolutely. Team Liquid, they're probably going to be pretty shook up after that one. as They've had a long, hard road, but to go into the Grand Finals and face up against such a dominant Secret in game number one, 